This morning in Health Watch, ironing out the wrinkles of age. A recent study looked at three wrinkle treatments that are actually effective. Joining us is Dr. Diane Burson, a dermatologist who knows all about this stuff. How are you this morning? Good morning, great, thank you. What was the big headline out of this study? Because studies have been done before, but this is real hard science. They really had test groups versus control and everything else. What did they learn? Well, basically, the University of Michigan study showed that these treatments will stimulate collagen production. Okay. And collagen is in our dermis, mm -hmm. and it basically gives us strength uh, and support to the skin. It right. gives mechanical support. It makes the skin supple and elastic. And as we get older, and especially as we're exposed to sun, right. your, your uh, skin loses that right. over With time. age, you produce less collagen, and the collagen that you have becomes destroyed. And right. of course, this is accelerated with chronic exposure to so the sun. So there's a study, and it says these kinds of treatments actually work. Now, what, right. is, what is this one right here? Well, the first type of treatment are the injectable fillers, mm -hmm. and these two fillers contain hyaluronic acid. Right. The function of hyaluronic acid, which is normally in the skin, is to bind fluid and mm -hmm. therefore plump up the skin. Oh. But the study also We talked showed, about that the other day. We are looking right, right. at this whole trend in plastic right. surgery about plumping up instead of pulling well, back. Yes, and this just plumps up the spaces that have been destroyed by the sun. Oh, okay. But the hyaluronic acid fillers also have been shown to stimulate new collagen production, partially because it mechanically stretches the skin and stimulates the fibroblasts, right. which are the cells that make collagen, wow. to make new collagen. There's real science. You're talking some real serious <laughs> science stuff. Is this the same stuff then? Yes. The Restylane and These Juvederm two? are both with hyaluronic acid fillers. Okay, and what is what is this stuff down here? These are prescription retinoids, uh, Tazerac and Retin-A or Renova. Mm -hmm. yeah. These prescription retinoids can also be used to improve the appearance of what we call photodamaged skin, or skin that's been destroyed by the by sun. By the sun, right, right. And certainly early fine lines and wrinkles. But and same sort of principle? The study showed, yes, that, and, and we all as dermatologists know this, that if you use retinoids that are prescription strength on a regular basis, mm -hmm. you can stimulate some new collagen in the skin. Right, and that really is what it's all about. We have some over-the-counter stuff. Do you have a sense about whether these things are comparable or whether this stuff works? Well, there's a lot of science behind the prescription retinoids, but mm -hmm. certainly over-the-counter retinols have also a, an ability to stimulate mm. a little bit of collagen, maybe not as much. Okay. The over-the-counter products will smooth out the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles also, there you go. but might not be as strong as the prescription remedies. Dr. Burson, thanks so much. Thank you for really having me. Really appreciate it. Lots of fun.